Hey everyone, Kashif here, all the way from Sydney City. Uh huh, Australia. I have never been so excited to actually go and watch a movie. And come on, it's The Lion King and also the real live action remake of the epic Lion King. I remember being a kid and watching this movie, and now I'm actually an adult reviewing this movie. But let's just start off with the things that I absolutely loved about this movie. <laughs> Alright, let me see what we're dealing with here. It's a lion! Run for your life, Pumba! So Timon and Pumba add humor and sheer enjoyment with a refreshing take on Akuna Matata and easily become one of your favorites. Simba. Beyonce as Nala slays. End of story. That's it. Beyonce also introduced her new album, The Gift, as her love letter to South Africa. Oh, Mufasa amazes as king. As always, Simba is hard to connect. I feel like Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino, did a great job, but there was some depth missing in Simba. But then that is his personality. He was always this confused, even in the animation movie, wasn't he? Yeah. There are characters who you see have some additional screen space. The hyenas are a bit more vicious and less comical as compared to the original animated version back in 1994. A rivalry between Nala and Shenzi is very interesting to look out for. Trust me. So let's just talk about the things that I missed or let's say were not really there as a 1994 diehard Lion King fan. Massive spoilers ahead. The makers do miss out on some minor details which are iconic from the original 1994 The Lion King that you take away. Just like Mufasa's massive fall and Scar's epic dialogue. Long live the king. The tears when Simba cries his heart out and the slow motion running of Simba returning back to the Pride Rock and Mufasa's face in the clouds. Like, yeah. Sorry for that, guys. The movie, to a degree, does look like you're watching a documentary from Animal Planet with voiceovers and less emotions. But what did you expect from a live action movie? And have you seen a real life meerkat doing a Hawaii number? Um, no. But then also, you haven't really seen them talking or singing which you see them in this movie. So the Disney magic is still definitely there. Oh my God, who is the brains of this operation? We're gonna name him Fred. And trust me, the ending gives you so many chills. It's almost even better than the original one. And there, I said it. Come home. So on the whole, how much did I love this movie? Well, being a diehard fan from the 1994 animation movie, Lion King, I enjoyed it. It was different. It was not really the same movie. It was the same storyline. A lot of scenes were there. I was actually literally, yeah, saying the dialogues <laughs> because I remember the dialogues and I'm pretty sure you too. But most importantly, I think the movie was refreshing and that's where I'm going to leave it. Well, if you love this reaction, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go and watch the movie. If you like it, tell me what you like in the comment section below. And if you didn't like it, well, it's all right, guys. It's life. Let's just deal with it. <laughs> okay, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because something big is coming up. And also follow me on freaking Instagram. I'm out of here. It's the circle of life. It's Lion King and I absolutely got to go and watch it again. Okay, bye.